it's hard to hydrate these days. Not only are you likely swallowing thousands of tiny plastic particles without realizing it, but every sip from your reusable water bottle could also be fueling bacteria that multiplies by the millions in just 24 hours. But what if simple changes could cut down on both? Well, new studies reveal just how much you can reduce your microplastic intake, while another details how often you really need to wash your water bottles. 90,000 particles. That's how many microplastics you're likely ingesting from plastic water bottles each year, according to a study published in Genomic Press. But by switching to filtered tap water, researchers say that number significantly drops to just 4,000 particles per year. You may feel like you're constantly hearing about microplastics and how harmful they can be, but they aren't just in the water you drink. The same study also highlights seafood and alcohol as major dietary sources of microplastics. And it's not just what we consume, but what our food is stored in. Many people are ditching plastic Tupperware after recent studies, but specifically a 2023 ACS medical paper finding some plastic food containers can release up to 4.2 million microplastic particles per square centimeter within just three minutes of microwave heating. Recent studies reveal microplastics contain hormone disrupting chemicals like BPA, which have been linked to reproductive issues and developmental problems. They can also carry toxic chemicals which get released into your body when ingested, and they may trigger inflammation, which has been linked to chronic diseases like cancer, heart disease, and autoimmune conditions. Microplastics have been found in human blood, lungs, and even placentas, raising concerns about long-term health impacts that are still being uncovered. And now, this genomic press paper suggests increased levels of micro and nanoplastics in the brain could be especially concerning, particularly in patients with dementia. But what about those reusable water bottles and the bacteria inside them? A Monday BBC article reveals from every sip, you deposit bacteria in your bottle, and in just one day, that bacteria can multiply by millions. Leaving the water sitting in your bottle for days, well, that only encourages even more more bacterial growth. A clinical microbiology associate professor in the UK told the BBC that the longer water sits at room temperature, the more bacteria will grow. That's because infectious bacteria thrive around 98 degrees Fahrenheit, but can still multiply at room temperature around 68 degrees. On average, reusable bottles see bacteria levels jump from 75,000 per milliliter in the morning to more than 1.2 million within just 24 hours. However, this same professor notes most of these bacteria are harmless and non-immunocompromised systems are strong enough to fight off many of them. But some bacteria can be disease-causing, which is why proper cleaning is so important. So how should we be cleaning these bottles? The study found people who used a cleaning brush or or dishwasher had the lowest bacteria counts, but bacteria were still present no matter how often or what method was used. The most effective way is running your water bottle through a dishwasher sanitation cycle. Hot water over 140 degrees is key since it kills most pathogens. And it's not just water. Bottles with tea, coffee, or juice were found to be even more contaminated than those with just water. If at any point your water bottle starts harboring a smell, you should get rid of it entirely. And plastic reusable water bottles that are not BPA-free could be the most harmful because the bacteria can bound itself to the plastic, which could then lead to further health issues, as mentioned earlier. With Straight Arrow News, I'm Kennedy Felton. Download our app or visit san.com for more.